Hi, this is Murray from Second Time Tech, and today I'm going to be talking about a mixer that I was talking about yesterday, which is the Alto Professional Live 802. Now, it may look like I'm reading, because in some parts I am, because I wrote it all down so I wouldn't forget anything. So, basically, this unit, like I said, is a very nice unit. It is built extremely well and it has a problem. And it's a manufacturer's problem. I'll go more into detail in a few minutes. But first of all, I will tell you that the mute that's on the mains and all of the channels works wonderful. I really like that. Uh, there's a fader on every one of the channels, which is wonderful. Uh, it's only three-year-old technology, so that's good too, because it seems like a lot of the mixers seems to have uh, older technology than that. Um, with that comes, of course, the, the better preamps, which gives you a lower noise on your microphones. And it comes with that 24-bit DAC with the 96 kilohertz sampling rate. So it is a better DAC, but we'll talk about that. Now, yesterday I was saying that the... Windows 10 used a USB audio codex driver that wasn't new enough. And uh, I needed to put in the ASIO for all driver. But it wouldn't work with Windows because Windows 10 Pro wouldn't let it. Well, that's not quite true it wouldn't let it work with a different DAW. And it's not so much that it wouldn't work, it's the fact that Audacity doesn't recognize it. So it's the software Audacity that doesn't recognize the ASIO driver. Now, I did try and use a different DAW. And that DAW is called Cakewalk. And it's by a company from BandLab. It used to be log belong to Gibson. And then they stopped working on it. And then BandLab bought the rights to it. And it used to cost money to buy this thing. And BandLab's giving it away free. So I will put the links in the show notes. And it's a very, very good... DAW. It's better than anything that I thought I would ever get. It is more complicated to learn, but anything that is that good will be complicated to learn. So I find that the Audacity works very easily. So that's what I'm using right now until I figure out how to use BandLab better and there's a uh, YouTube channel called Recording Studio 9, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he's doing um, little tutorials on how to use it. So I would go there. I'll put a uh, link in the show notes uh, to find out how to use it. Uh, he's doing it slowly, which is good because I have to learn everything. A little bit at a time because I got so much other stuff to do. So, and it seems to be very good. Anyway, um, the ASIO for all driver is recognized by Cakewalk. And that Windows 10 used the USB audio codex 
which is also what the ASIO driver uses. So it one wasn't Windows 10, is basically what it was. So I went into the Cakewalk audio input section and made sure that it was using the ASO driver. And whenever it initialized, it even said, like when it first came up, it even said it was going to use it. So I double checked to make sure that it was using it. And it was using it with this mixer, the Live 802. Problem was, whenever I was trying to change it to the 24 bit DAC and the 96 kilohertz uh, sampling rate, it would do the sampling rate, but the 24 bit um, part was grayed out. So that means that it was only used in 16 bit. And I went on to the ASA driver and made sure, and yes, it said that it was set to 16-bit. So, basically what that makes me believe is that the mixer's USB electronics or interface is not telling the Windows OS what it really is as a device then the windows 10 can't let the usb audio codec give all the options that the live 802 dac can do that's the manufacturer's defect i went on to their form and a bunch of the customers are complaining about the USB interface on this line of mixer. And that could be the 802, the 1202, the 1602, the, I think it's 2202 and the 2402. I think that's the most of them. Now, they came up with some lame ideas on trying to fix it, which were true in some instances, but they gave the same idea every time, like they're running down their list. Like most people that work in a phone call institution that does technical work for a bunch of different manufacturers, they were going down their list of things and they said it every time and it said that they were an employee of the company well, I suppose they were if they were working in a call center but they never really gave good advice on one of them it basically said that they were talking to an engineer that works for Alto Professional, and they basically said that they got a bad batch of these units. That was two years ago, and I got one. That's not a bad batch. And that's what the person on the forum said. That's not a bad batch. Whenever you're getting them a year and two later, they must sell a bunch of these. Not unless they don't, and they ordered a huge batch, and they're just not selling well, which... I can't hardly believe because it is a good mixer, except for what I'm telling you. And it's all based on the USB interface. Now, what most of the customers had to do was they had to bring their unit back and get a new one. And then bring it back and get a new one. And one guy did it four times and said, and it's true, the analog part of this is great. I'll buy a Behringer or a Scarlett a, um, audio interface. 
I'll take the mains, plug it into that, and use the DAC from it to run uh, the USB to the computer so that I'll have a DAC that actually works and I'll have good audio coming out of it. And there was nothing after that, so I assume that that's what they did, and it worked well. And I could see that working well. But to buy another $150, well, $100, $150, piece of equipment in order to make this work like it's supposed to, no, not for me. Now, there were two problems with this, and they both relate to the USB interface. One is a high-pitched squeal in the headphones when you listen to the USB track coming back from the computer. There is a dial on the um, mixer that allows you to listen to audio that's coming back from the computer into it because it's a two-way interface and whenever you turn it up it does have a high pitch squeal i heard it my wife heard it and that was kind of the thing that made me decide after one day to take it back or two days or send it back the second problem with the mixer is the interface not being recognized by the operating system and or the DAW software. And the DAW software is either Audacity or Cakewalk, and there's a bunch of other ones. DAW just means Digital Audio Workstation. That's all it means. So it's just a group of software. So basically what I did was, like I said, I'm sending it back because it has both the problems in it that are manufacturer problems. And I'm not happy with this because I really like the unit. And probably if I had the money to change out the uh, USB interface on it, I would do it but I don't. So what I've ordered is the Behringer X1622 USB again. It's my third time ordering it. The last two times I sent it back without even trying it. So maybe there's some reason why I keep ordering it. So I'm gonna try it out this time. I get it on Tuesday, which is about five days from now. Hmm. And I really hope that it works okay. Because it has at least most of the options that I want. The one thing that it doesn't have is the 24-bit DAC. And I guess that's okay with Windows 10 because all it lets you use is a 16-bit DAC and, well, I shouldn't say that. All it seems to have shown me so far is a 16-bit up to 48 kilohertz sampling. And it does fall in that. So that's good. So I'm not going to try for a great mixer anymore. Or a good mixer. I'm trying for an okay mixer. Because I can't afford good, great, or fantastic. I'll have to settle for okay and work my up way up to great later. So, I'm, like I say, I'm really hoping that this Behringer... X1622 USB does what I want it to do, at least okay, and I will have to settle for that. Well, that's my story for today. 
I know it's a bunch of talk and it's almost 15 minutes long, but I really wanted to tell you all the stuff that was going on. So if you like this video, I know it sounds a little depressing, but it is depressing to me. Uh, please hit the like button and uh, please subscribe. And I want to wish everybody a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and listening. Bye.